Hello everyone, I am Abhay from Triple IT, The Award. Today I am going to tell about the coin change making problem with dynamic programming. First of all, what is a dynamic programming? Dynamic programming, also known as dynamic optimization, it is a method for solving a complex problem, breaking it down into a collection of simpler sub problem and solving each of those sub problems once and are storing their solution. It is a memory based data st structure. It is used for optimizations. Say, so, what the application of dynamic programming and where it is used? So, it is used in many fields like computer science, mathematics, management science, economics, and etc. For example, finding the Fibonacci series, flat virtual algorithm, digital algorithm for shortest path problem, check boards, tower of nerve problems, egg dropping puzzles, quant change making problems. Now I am going to describe about quant change making problem. What is quant change making problem? Everybody has faces the problem with quant changes in every day. How can give the changes with available coins? What is the minimum number of coins we can give and how many number of ways we can give the solu uh, give the changes with uh, available coins? So let's under understand by the examples. Where we have a coins, let's suppose two rupees, five rupees, three rupees, and six rupees, and we have to give a change for n is equals to ten. So there is a flowing ways to make changes for n is equals to ten is two rupees, two rupees, two rupees, two rupees, two rupees means five times we can give so it's equal to ten, and another way is two plus two. 3 plus 3 is also give the 10 rupees 2 plus 2 6 plus is equals to 10 2 plus 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 so there is the 5 ways to make a changes for con quan n is equals to 10 so now let's took the uh, and L through the algorithm to understand these problems algorithm for quan change making problems where S is defined as input or available coins, where M is defined as number of coins available. N is equals to value for V need changes. There is the recursive function known cont int S. S is input M number of coins available and value for V need change. So if N tends to 0, then return 1. It means we have a changes for 0 rupees there is no any way right then one way we don't give the simply if n is equals to less than 0 then it is 0 if you no know one can give uh, no one uh, demand the changes so it is 0 if m is less than 0 means we have a uh, nothing coins we have no coins we have who uh, that no coins available with me and someone ask to changes so simply it is 0 and else after satisfy this condition not satisfy then we are going to return cont s man m minus 1 comma n plus cont s m comma n minus s m minus 1 it return uh, it goes to again and again and satisfy at least a uh, last ones so that we uh, leads to a sub problems and uh, store it and at last we return back as the number of ways to make changes so let's try to this one through the examples suppose we have a coin 1 rupees 2 rupees and 3 rupees and we need change for n is equals to 5 so here through the algorithm there is a three uh, variables that's a parameter s is equals to 1 2 3 s n and m where s is equals to 1 2 3 n is equals to 5 m is equals to 3 
all if condition is not satisfied in the first step so go to the cont s minus 1 plus cont s m n n minus minus 1 which is divided into overlapping sub problem and calculate the total number of ways to make a coin so let uh, let's understand this better way in a recursive tree there is cont s m comma n minus s m minus 1 cont s m minus 1 comma n here we have a coin 1 2 3 that is c represent uh, the scurry bracket 1 2 3 comma 5 5 is n n means number uh, that changes we need to change so the late subtree is cont s comma m comma n minus s m minus 1 where right subtree is cont s m minus 1 in the first step there is 5 5 rupees we are going to be subtract with 3 because s minus 1 so it relates to c 1 2 3 same n uh, m is number of uh, available coins is 3 same comma 2 2 leads 5 minus 3 and then in right subtree in the first step c 1 2 comma 5 it means s comma m minus 1 comma n n is the same as the changes for n m minus 1 means we have to reduce the array that's uh, the available coins so it's uh, it's going to be uh, removed from the coin ability so 1 comma 2 is there and then in the second step in the third third st second step c 1 2 3 comma 2 that is the left subtree have the two branches where 1 2 3 comma minus 1 where is m minus come is come uh, come from the 2 minus 3 it leads to minus 1 and c 1 2 is comma 2 it's giving the count s comma m minus 1 and the same as in the right subtree 1 comma 2 comma 3 and c 1 comma 5 it leads to and again it's going to be divided and divided and comes to as 0 it's last condition which base base condition is there which base condition is there base condition that's a if condition if n is equal to 0 if is n is equal to less than 0 if is n less than 0 n is greater than 1 then it turn 1 and 0 after adding these sub uh, sub values we get the number of po uh, number of possible ways we can give the solution so we can conclude that in uh, 1 2 3 for n is equal to 5 we can give that like uh, 1 1 1 1 5 times 2 plus 3 1 times 3 uh, that's 2 2 plus 1 and there is a many ways give the solution so let's conclude it it's conclude that optimal substructure overlapping sub problems number of ways for calculating the coin changes and there is the time complexity is big o fn so thank you then